Hello, I'm Professor Robert Winston. Professor sounds very important. It's because professors are supposed to know an awful lot of things. Actually, I don't really know an awful lot of things, but I have written this book, The Utterly Amazing Human Body, and it's raised lots of questions. And of course, the reason why we need to know more about the human body is because we all live in it. We need to know how it works. So what a lot of children have done is write in and ask these questions, and I'm gonna try and answer some questions today. Well, of course, blinking partly depends. If you're in a very dusty atmosphere, if you're in a very dusty place, you blink all the time. If you're nervous, you tend to blink more. But actually, on average, you blink two or three times a minute. So across a 12-hour day, you're likely to blink about 1,500 times a day. I find it much more interesting to consider how much you cry. It turns out that we all lose water from our eyes, adults as well as children. And the course of a lifetime, we will cry something like 50 to 70 liters of water. That's a huge amount of fluid that we lose, all of us, just by shedding tears. Well, you know, if we really knew the answer to that, we'd be able to cure baldness, and we can't do that, though there are many reasons why we think we know some of the answers. Basically, first of all, we all have genes in our body, DNA, which makes different processes work in the body. And some men, quite a lot of men, have genes which intend to make them bald, particularly on the forehead. I don't seem to have that gene because I've got a little bald spot here, but apart from that, I've still got quite a lot of hair, even though I'm very old indeed. Now, also, baldness is partly related to the male hormone. One of the important things which controls the amount of hair that we grow is a hormone called testosterone, which men produce in large amounts. And some men have more sensitivity, their cells are more capable of responding to testosterone. And that seems to be another reason why some men lose hair and others don't. Well, Adam, it so happens that I've got a whole bottle of blood here, look. Look at this. This is about one and a half liters. Now, an adult human, a fully sized grown person, a bit older than you, will have five liters, so three times this amount of blood in the body. Women have a little less blood than men for some reason. I don't quite know why, but it might be as much as half a liter less. And of course, you at the age of 13 would probably have about half that volume. So I guess you probably have around three liters of blood, about two of these bottles in your bloodstream. And of course, that's being replaced all the time and as are the red cells, which make it a sort of dirty red color like this. It's rather disgusting, isn't it? 